Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this video we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of July in the areas of money, career and finance. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. We're going to start with your spirit animal oracle card. The card for you that has a message is number 32. Hawk spirit let spirit be your guide so whenever this card comes up think about a hawk a hawk can uh, fly high up in the sky and see also the little things the little signs whatever happening down so in this uh, case you need to make sure uh, whatever goals you have you kind of keep it on your horizon you keep it in your goal and you kind of let spirit guide you uh, as as you go through your journey and the little signs here kind of can indicate some little messages what you might be seeing. Maybe you're seeing, hearing the same song. Maybe you're seeing the same uh, words all over. Or maybe you're seeing some uh, numbers that keep repeating themselves. So uh, make sure that you know if you experience something, those are signs from spirits, from the universe to guide you. So in this uh, period of time, very important to pay attention to uh, those. But let's see what the tarot is telling us. In the center of your reading, you do have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords, which is... Uh, uh, um, I normally I would say that this is the card of indecision, which it, it, it is. But what's very interesting for me that uh, the closed eye. Maybe there are certain things you don't want to see. Like my kind of attention went to that. And, 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 and it's very important to kind of make sure that you keep your eyes open. Because, you know, we, we talked about with the hawk spirit, that uh, the hawk spirit kind of goes uh, high up in the sky and keep their eyes open. So make sure that you have that. But let's go back to the meaning of the two of swords. Two of swords can be a card of indecision. When you have to make some kind of a decision, choose between two things and you have a very hard time making this decision uh, but you have to follow your inner guidance follow your instinct and that's going to help you to make the right decision uh, also it's very important that you know uh, deep down some of you actually know what the right uh, decision is um, you just need to make it it's also important that you kind of let your fear go away because, you know, in this case, uh, she's protecting herself. She should go to the other side or, or to that island to discover new things. But anyway, very important that, uh, you know, if you have to make some kind of a decision, you are uh, evaluating those uh, properly. Um, for some of you, it might be also an indication of a conflict of some sorts where you might be sitting in the middle and you want to be kind of stay in a neutral position. The first card we have here is the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords can be a person in your energy or just the energy of the card. This is somebody who is very well experienced. She went through a lot of difficulties in her life and all of that made her very strong. She is somebody uh, who is speaking her mind. Maybe you are getting an advice from somebody who is able to, who is speaking their mind and sometimes, you know, their words can be uh, hurtful. Uh, and also it's very important, you know, with her that she cares about, she's very logical, she's very smart as well, and she sees through those clouds, right? So it's very important to, as you can see, that this uh, bird spirit kind of shows up again to fly on high on the sky, and, 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 and she's able to see through any, everything that happened. It's very hard to mislead her. And also, like, you know, normally I don't really speak about the butterfly, but my kind of attention this time went to the butterfly as well. Maybe some of you are going through some kind of a major transition uh, because the butterfly is the sign of a huge transition that you're going through. But anyway, there might be some clarity that is coming in for you with when the Queen of uh, Swords is showing up. The next card uh, we have here is another sword uh, energy, the Page of Swords. Uh, so this might be some kind of a swift action. This can be a news, maybe something that you've been waiting for and it might be delayed, but once you're getting it, it's actually helping you because it's a good news. Uh, maybe uh, the delayed news is the one that's holding you back to make the decision that you've been trying to. But this card is also about curiosity being curious, being um, 
you know just uh, uh, trying to kind of uh, figure like like being open to new things but it can be also curiosity from the point of view that maybe people are watching you people are kind of paying attention what you're doing or for some of you it might be uh, there's some spying as well that's happening the next card uh, for you uh, is the eight of uh, wands eight of wands is all about uh, fast uh, movement for some of you it might be that things are speeding up when this card shows up some of you might be traveling somewhere but this can be also some good news positive news that's coming in uh, that uh, will will be uh, great for you so like you know for some of you there might be uh, some kind of a news here that you've been waiting for uh, something that has been delaying uh, that would actually give you the clarity what you need but since you don't have this information it might be that that's why you have a hard time seeing things clearly but you also have the wheel of fortune wheel of fortune which is the card of change the card of change change for the better when luck is on your side when you can expect that uh, things are improving for you Whenever this card comes up, uh, um, you can expect that you will, you're going to be at the right place at the right time to meet the right people. This is kind of like really a lucky energy. If you've been going through some difficulties, you can uh, expect that things are going to be uh, on the up for you. And very important to kind of keep a positive attitude to manage, uh, to able to manage these changes that are coming your way. And you also have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is very similar to the Two of Swords uh, from the point of view that this is uh, another card of indecision. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of opportunities, a lot of cups for this person to choose from, and they have a hard time choosing because they just don't know what it, what's, what it is. So this can be uh, just the fact that you have a lot of opportunities to choose from, and that's kind of confusing you. It can be also a card that uh, maybe some of you are very dreamy. Some of you are uh, kind of um, in the clouds. So very important to kind of uh, be a little bit more realistic when this card shows up. But this can be also connected to some kind of um, manifestation that some of you are trying to do. Uh, and, and whenever this card comes up, it can be a sign from the universe that I just don't know what you want. Maybe one day you want to start a new uh, business. Maybe the other day you want to get promoted. Maybe the next day you want to just go for another company. And then the other day, you just want to stay where you are. So I think uh, what you need to uh, be clear uh, to the universe, what is that you really want? And, and that's going to help you to kind of achieve. Uh, and, and, and again, just think about it. Um, let spirit be your guide. Work with spirit uh, to be able to achieve whatever you're trying to achieve. But let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That's an indication that the reading helped you. And you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most. For you, it is only costing a push of a button. So I hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, and uh, only a very few people uh, uh, subscribe. So I hope that's going to be one of you. Who will actually subscribe today but i'm always very excited to read in the comment how this reading is resonating with you um, if you're willing to share it now uh, for the future uh, i'm very glad for you to see the ace of swords the ace of swords uh, like every aces can indicate a new chapter in your life a new beginning it can be an idea uh, it can be a new job, a new business opportunity, something that's going to be mentally uh, very stimulating for you. This can be also a card of victory. Uh, so some of you might be going through something and you're going to be able to uh, get the victory. But this is also the card of clarity. And you have the card of clarity both here and with the Queen of Swords. So I think you're going to get the clarity uh, that you need. This can be also uh, connected to um, a contract, uh, to some kind of a uh, document as well. But it can be also a clarifying conversation of some sort. If uh, if you know, if especially if you if you are kind of sitting in the middle of 
a conflict. Uh, and, and you know, with the with the Queen of uh, uh, Swords, I need to kind of say as well that sometimes it can be representative of a judge. Maybe there's some kind of a decision that's being made. And I can see from the nine of uh, um, wands that you are very tired, you're very exhausted because this is the card of the wounded soldier who's been through many many battles, and 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 he's very tired. He's ready to give up. It's kind of indicating that, you know, there's something that you are also kind of on the verge of giving it up because you just don't see it happening, right? We kind of talked here with the manifestation that maybe some of you are just flip-flopping with what what is that you want. But when this card comes up, the message is always very clear. You shouldn't give up. You should continue because your goal is very close for you to achieve. And the last card we have is... The Four of Swords. Four of Swords is an indication of a pause. Uh, some of you might be taking a break of something. Some of you might be healing, recovering from something. Some of you might be meditating, manifesting when this card comes up. And, and you know, there's definitely connection to the universe and, and getting the downloads when this card comes up. And there's some kind of a blessing that's happening here. And... Uh, the blessing is happening on not only on this card, but also with the Wheel of Fortune, because the Wheel of Fortune brings you some kind of a blessing. So some of you might be out of job for a while as well when this card comes up, or some of you might be taking a break of something. But what's really great is that you know, even though uh, you might not be feeling that things are happening, um, but but uh, the energies are actually flowing, and and this is a great time that you know in the back that something great is about to happen because you have the wheel of fortune as well and when you look at at the bottom of the deck you do have the king of pentacles which is the king of money he is uh, one of those people that is a good business person he knows how to make money he he knows how to make good uh, business decisions also he is uh, very wise he is very caring and, and again, like, you know, whenever he comes up, you shouldn't worry about money because he is all about long-term stability and long-term abundance. So it's very important for here, here for you to get the clarity that you need, work with spirit, and let spirit guide you in order to achieve this uh, positive change that is represented by the Wheel of Fortune and uh, indicated by uh, the King of Pentacles this long-term stability. So I hope that this reading helped you and I'll be able to welcome you again.